Hi, we are Team TNT from South Korea Bangbae Robotics Club. My name is Harry and my teammate is Hung Yoo. In this presentation, we are going to first explain the competition we attended, which is called Space Rescue Simulation. Second, we will explain our strategy after we analyze the map. Third, we will explain the problems we face during coding. Next, we will explain how we solve the problem. Then we will go over resolution and expectations. Finally, we have our solution. First, we will explain our competition called Space is a Rescue Simulation where we are given the task to save people which are represented as red, cyan, and black squares. We are expected to collect these squares and move to an orange deposit zone where we earn the points. Also, if we collect two reds, two red cyan, and two black, a super object is created, which is a worth a lot of points. The first time we saw the map, we were devastated. Before, in our past competition, we normally used the strategy of quickly sending the robot to different locations, which had RRGGBB, which represents red, green, and black. Our strategy was based on time as we tried our best to make super objects and consume them. However, when we saw our map, we found out our strategy was worthless. First of all, the reason why our strategy of getting RRGGBB is not efficient is because the map had too many walls that divided the zone far away from each other taking a lot of time. We noticed how in this map, getting the super object was less efficient. That is when we decided to give up RRGGBB and start getting as many objects possible in the given time. So, we changed our strategies to send the robot to the top left part of the map as soon as the game starts. There are a lot of signs in the top left part. There, we ate 6 signs and sent the robot to the deposit zone. Then we sent the robot to the upper right corner where the robot is ex expected to eat 6 objects freely. Finally, we will send the robot below to the deposit zone where the robot deposits and eats 6 reds. Getting as many objects possible Some of the problems we faced during our coding is that the robot would often stop doing the program we did when it met the pink line, the lost position. Also, for some reason, we had trouble sending the robots to specific zones we made. The codes kept on collapsing on top of each other and the robot will often stop during the process. 
We successfully solved the problem for the lost position. We put a code that told the robot to move forward when the position is lost. That way, the robot will not stop moving but go forward proceeding with the original code we made. However, for the second problem, we did not come up with a smart solution, so we decided to shrink the zones we made, reducing the amount of our resolution and expectations for our finalists is fixing the problem of codes collapsing as started before in the slide. Also, we expect to use the RRGGBB program we prepared but couldn't use due to the map we are collecting RRGGBB was not efficient. We are very thankful for the chance to compete against other programmers in the RCAP Codespace Rescue line. We will try our best to code the robot perfectly in our finalist, earning ourselves an award. I'm happy to advance to the final of the tournament, and I hope we can get better results in the future. Thank you for listening. This was Team TMT's second presentation.